everybody! Um, since you all have your third exam coming up, and I know you've never taken one of my exams on my math lab, I figured we'd go over just some expectations, logistics of how things work, and hopefully answer some of your all's questions uh, to make things go very, very smoothly. There we go. <laughs> All right, logistics. So uh, your exam three is scheduled for this Thursday, April 30th. So what's going to happen is your exam is going to open all day long. It's going to open at midnight at the very, very beginning of the day. And it's going to be open all the way until 1159 at the end of the day. So you're going to have an entire day to take your exam and figure out when is the best time for you. Um, it does have a time limit. So the time limit is two hours, so you need to find a two-hour chunk somewhere in your day to take that exam. So for me, it might be the time after my kids go to bed, <laughs> because that would be nice and quiet and a much better time for me to take my exam. For you, it might be in the morning before you go to work, um, or right after dinner, or something like that. But you need to figure out the right time for you to take that test. Um, you are expected to complete the test in one sitting, so there's no save for later button, okay? Part of that is for test security because I want to make sure you guys actually do it in one sitting and don't, you know, go somewhere else and ask for answers. But also doing that one sitting option allows you guys to navigate around instead of having to do question one, then question two, then question three. It allows you guys to skip around and then come back to the questions that you have questions on later. Or if you want to just go back and review some answers, you're like, I wasn't quite sure about my answer number four, um, you can go back on that, okay? Uh, let's see, to get to your test, what you're going to do is go to my math lab, you'll log in just like you normally do and go to our class like you normally do. In the quizzes, exam three and final exam tab, I renamed it because it has more things in it now, that's where, you're, where you will find your test. So it's just like finding a quiz, you're just going to find your test there. There's no password, trying to make it easy on everybody, okay? So that's how you get into your exam. It'll say, are you ready to start? And you say, of course I am, let's do this. Um, and then you'll be ready to start. It will show the, like I said, there's a two hour limit, so it will show the time ticking down, just so that you're aware of the time and you don't run out of it, okay? What can you use during your exam? So you can use your scientific calculator just like you've been doing all semester long. Um, please use some blank paper. Uh, get a notepad, notebook, uh, blank paper, whatever paper you like, but get some, okay? Because you're going to want to work all of your problems out. Because if you work your problems out, you're much likely to get them right. Um, and then if you want to go back, you can see what you did. It's a much better idea, okay? So get some blank paper, make sure you're ready. Um, you can use your notes. So I talked about this in the announcement last week, um, but since my math lab's gonna grade things right or wrong, I think that a good way to compensate for that is to allow you all to use your notes. So if you took pencil paper notes, you can use them. If you wanna use electric, electronic notes, um, I know somebody said they took their notes on a tablet, you can use that. If you wanna use the notes I scanned in for you that are in a PDF, go for it. Okay? It's about knowing how to do the problems. That's what I, I care about. And of course, use your brain. <laughs> Please. All right, so the next question, uh, what kind of problems are you going to see on the exam? So it is comprehensive, just like all of our other exams have been. So it's chapter 7 through 13.2. Um, it's going to be a lot heavier on the newer stuff. So that's 10.6 through 13.2. Um, I would say it's about 75% new stuff, 25% review. In case you're wondering, like, well, how is this different than the final? The final is going to be evenly distributed versus this one's going to be heavier on the new stuff. But this would be a good almost practice final in a way, okay? Uh, problems, there's, they're going to be similar to homework problems. So what you guys have been doing in your homework and quiz questions and all that, um, they all come from that My Math Lab uh, question bank. So you're not going to see my true false questions or multiple choice questions this time around. It's going to be more like a homework. Uh, there are 30 questions in total, and keep in mind that everything is going to be graded right or wrong. So be very, very careful when you input your answers. You know, if you miss an X or you miss a minus sign or something silly, it's going to count you wrong. Okay? So just be really careful. Um, 
Also, I didn't mention it here, but in case you're curious, um, the question order, it's going to be in in order. So it's actually going to start with chapter 7, then chapter 8, then chapter 9, then chapter 10, and so on. Okay? So it'll actually be in order as you go through the test, which makes it a little bit easier, I think, on you all. How should you, how should I prepare? Because I know some of you guys are very, very stressed about this, and I don't think it's going to be as bad as you think it is. Um, so first off, work through the exam review that I made for you all. It is on my math lab, and just like every other assignment in my math lab, you can hit that similar question button all day long, okay? If you notice that you're needing that question help to get through a question, click the similar question button. Okay, get a new one, do it as many times as you need to until you feel good with it. If you want to make yourself a list of these were the ones that I had trouble with today, then come back the next day and do those five or six problems again and again until you feel good with them. Uh, every single problem from your exam is on that review somewhere. I promise. I made sure they were. Okay, remember, uh, practice makes permanent. I know that People like to say practice makes perfect, but it actually makes things permanent. So practice the way that you're going to do it on the test. Some of you guys rush through things, and then your brain has three different ways of remembering how to do the, the problem, and only one of them is the right way. So practice doing it the right way every single time so that when you get to your test, your brain remembers the right thing to do. Okay? Um, on test day, make sure that you've got a nice quiet space. Not too many distractions. Um, it's a good place to take your test. Okay? And of course, like I said, work out every single question. Work them out on a blank piece of paper. Be very, very careful when you type in your answers. Make sure you're answering the question. Make sure it's in the right format. Make sure you're answering the thing they want you to answer. Um, just take your time and do it well. Okay? And of course, what should I do after I finish the exam? Review your test, please. Um, we all know that sometimes my math lab counts things wrong that are actually right just because of formatting errors. Um, there was one on the past quiz where, I don't know if it was a lowercase I or a capital L, I really don't, but it was one or the other and they look identical. And people were getting it wrong because they put the, the wrong one. And so, um, there's stuff like that that happens. So make sure that you go through your tests afterwards, you review through it. Um, you're responsible for checking for the, those errors, okay? Because it's your test, not mine. So go through, uh, see if there's any errors. Hopefully there aren't any, but if there are, send me an email or a Canvas message, okay? And I can fix it from my end. I can see what happened. Um, and of course, after you've done all of that, my advice would be work through those problems that you missed, because now you know the right answer, because I have it set up so you can review your test. Um, work through those problems that you missed and help prepare yourself for the final exam, because it's coming up soon. Okay? If you all have more questions about your test, uh, send them my way. Um, prepare and make sure that you're ready for this. You can do it. I know it's different. But you got this, okay? Good luck, and hope you guys have a great week.